I actually did a lot off camera, so let's go over real fast. So, got um, got everyone's upgraded weapons, and I also managed to craft a whole bunch of new accessories. Now that like I actually took the time to sit and read, and I figured out what a couple of stats did. I try to do the entire like the entire like kicking spiel. I don't know. I did I did the whole thing. I was as thorough as I can be. Hello everybody, my name is David, you can call me Zen, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the previous episode, we started storming this castle, and we lowered the drawbridge to basically allow ourselves to, go, to more or less go all the way up to the top. This time, we are going to do just that. Anywho, like I was mentioning off camera, I was learning about the accessories, and I had realized that I had sold a lot of the different materials that go into making accessories, but now I've also learned how important a stat like penetration ends up being in regards to staggering enemies. I thought that penetration meant like that these guys had their own um like weaknesses or not not weakness but their own defense stat. And I thought that um penetration just improved your capability of dealing with said defense stat. But that is uh, that is actually not the case. What is really the case is um, it improves their likelihood of being staggered. So, for example, with the, these guys in specific, right? Um, I probably would be in a much better spot to actually put them in the ground. But I think for Law specifically right now, he's normally my uh, lucky bangle holder. He's the one that kind of improves our general item rate up, which is probably part of the reason why um, I haven't had to worry about like over farming or things like that, because he's probably the reason that I've gotten a whole bunch of extra loot. But with, the, um, with that said, I'm going to have it on him basically up until it's boss time. I honestly also think that I could change the equipment mid-battle. I know that's always been a thing that you can do in Tails games. Yeah, yeah, you can. So I could be that guy who switches the um, the thing last second and try to cheese out like an enhanced drop rate. I don't know if they ever compensate for that sort of thing, but I mean, the way that I see it, if I, I were a game dev, if I were taking the time to do the whole min-maxing spiel behind it, then I'd let the player. Because that's a whole bunch of extra effort. Most normal people aren't going to put a whole bunch of that effort in unless if they are going for like very high difficulty, like strats and things like that. So, one thing that I guess I wish the battle system did, um, in one of my, in one of my, I call it safer criticisms of it, um, is that I wish that if I had start attacking a separate enemy, right? that um it would just sorry my brain did not fully work there but um i think that it's actually very important that oh yeah there's an owl here um where was it got it you can have hoodle on your head Nice. I feel like that'd be most important for uh, Rinwell. But let's go ahead and get our full heal on. But as I was saying, that if I end up attacking a different target, right, then it should uh, more or less just allow for um, it should allow for the game to automatically switch targets. That's what I was trying to get to. But there's a healing point, which means that we are more than likely fighting a boss here. What is this place? Look over there. And so this would probably be the time where mid battle I probably would adjust Law's equipment. I probably should have swapped it as soon as I saw that healing light, but I could not think of the words that I had initially wanted to say. No class. Look sharp, everyone. But this fight shouldn't be too bad. Well, I say that now, but you never really know. 
Alright, so gonna put on the Grit Emblem on Law, so that way he has something a little bit different than what he currently has. But the one thing that is kind of annoying about this boss is that, um... That yell staggers so well, and that is a problem. Oh, come on, come on. Thank you for the recover, jeez. Golly, Kisar, you're just taking all sorts of damage there. Alright, I'm gonna back up. Oh, why'd I walk into that? Kisar is just taking so much damage. One... Two, three, four, five. There we go. See, uh, once I, I got this, I got this Mystic Arc comboing thing down. But look at how cool Blazing Pillar is. I did. Look at how much damage we just did overall. The only thing that kind of sucks is that it did it'll get rid of the core break. But it's not. It's not world ending. So Brinwell, take. I say you take charge here. Oh, yeah, I, ho I hope that it does show that I have gotten a lot better at doing like different comboing and different moves in this game. Oh, thank you. Goodness, though, we actually almost got this guy about at about half health. Nicely done, team. Okay, so we're doing zeros because there's actually a second one. You know, that's always fun when another boss just joins in mid-battle. Okay, no. So, for the time being, I am going to still primarily focus my efforts on the electric-based one. If only because it makes more sense that way. The electric one's already incredibly low, so why not, right? And also, it's cores back up anyway. I almost... I almost died there, I think. You know, I know it's funny. The ice one isn't doing, like, that... All that much of you... Uh, I spoke too soon. First life bottle. I bet you if I had more resistance, I wouldn't be getting canceled as many times as I am during this. Honestly, thank goodness the others are keeping the, the uh, other one busy. Okay. Yes, I was prioritizing um, dodging the. Oh, she owns down. Oh my goodness, I. Okay, so then if she owns down, that's fine. The auto use of the auto use of the peach cell is also greatly appreciated. Oh, okay, um, why is everyone on the ground? Not everyone should be on the ground right now. Okay, why did it decide to... Hey, 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 chill out. I saw him charging at me. Homie's crazy. Okay. So, I'm gonna use Love and Gel on Shion because she's just getting up and getting just tackled. She has enough time to get off a couple of resurrections, and I can use Alphen to stagger some of these uh, mobs around. Alright, so it's weak points exposed. We actually have enough time to actually get a couple 
um, a couple of combos off. Okay. Nice. The fact that does 1200, by the way, is absolutely insane. Alright, first one's almost down. Oh, that scream is so obnoxious. Okay. We're already running low on... I... Mm. I had enough time to dodge that. I had taken my hand off of the trigger for a split second. Okay. Well, we took that one out. You know, we, we love a nice little cheating moment. I wonder if, um... Oh, Rinwell? Get in there. Um, let's switch out Kisara for Dolahim for now. But I'm still gonna use a life... No, I'm not. I won't use a life bottle unless I feel the need. Oh, execution's a new one. Wait, he crit me there. That's illegal. I was doing so good. I was in the air. I was doing um soaring, soaring light blade or whatever. Oh, when did I get back up? Okay, that's totally fine. Um, Dolahim's back up. That's f no. Okay, while while he's doing all that, let's let's use, let's, let's use up some of my orange gels so that way we can actually get Shion reviving them. Alright, full thorn? I'll say. Oh, Rinwell's thing is not gonna be charged up in time. I'm gonna have to cancel. Or not. You know, I wonder if there's an achievement for this boss fight specifically where you stop doing damage to the electric one and you take actually take out the ice one first. So it's a, like primarily maybe an electric predominant mob. Alright, we have things back in order, at least, like, relatively. Oh! Law got the core break off, okay. But yeah, like I said, this boss honestly isn't all that horrifying. All right, Shion. She had so much time in the world to like get me back, like to like some relatively decent health. But no. Who needs to bring up one of your main damage dealers back to like relative full health when you could just let them perish? So part of me wants to also switch to like prim predominant, predominantly like fire magic, but I know that that isn't holy necessary. 
I didn't have to die there. Oh, not the Holy Lance. Alright, next death, I'm gonna probably bring Law out. Maybe with, um, if Rinwell dies again. Okay, chill out. Or maybe for Dolahim, actually. Okay. Just gotta lock in. We have a lot of peach shells, actually, so I should probably use a little bit more of them. Okay. God, I'm in a position where, like, do I want to use an orange gel or a life bottle? And honestly, life bottles are cheaper. Is that kind of sad? Okay, I had to, I had to move. Oh my god. Come on. I don't need to die again. Oh sweet! That just that just wants us to fight. I had to lock in real bad for a second. But that was a, like so that fight was actually pretty straightforward. I would like to that was relatively straightforward. I would like to say a bit of a longer fight though. That's for sure. We did it. Everyone hanging in there? Just about. Though, if we have to waste our energy on many more like that, I don't fancy our chances against Volron. We gotta try to conserve. I agree, but there's only so much we can do about that, right? You must be worried we'll have a change of heart. He's certainly pulling out all the stops. I saw the pencil from last time. I don't know. It's, it's giving me joy. I know. Are you doing okay, Shion? Are you? Hmm? Oh yeah, thanks. See, like she would, she would be so standoffish before she'd be like, "I don't have to explain myself to you," and you could just tell that she's so much more different now. And I actually like really, I really like it. You could tell that these characters have went through these drastic like shifts over the course of the game to just be better versions of themselves. Rinwell is not. So, um, black and white about the Danons and Renans. Law learned that revenge isn't always the answer. Dolahim accepts that, you know, he wasn't fit, he says he wasn't fit the rule, but he still will do anything he can to help people. And Kisara is learning how to be independent, but still be there for their team members. Maybe it's the identical ancestor thing. Maybe. I guess that could be it. You sure you're not reading into it? <sighs> what? What'd I say? Sorry, I realized I was yapping during this Just entire cutscene. <sighs> I can never win with you. You know that? <sighs> so, I guess one of the things that I've been just been learning as just someone who's been playing the game just a lot or at least just trying to work on like my commentary capabilities. There's going to be a healing light up ahead, by the way. So don't don't worry about me not healing. But yeah, we've been we've been working uh I've been trying to work hard on just getting a better grip on my commentary basically. 
Well, let's watch this one. Kizara, have you noticed how Shion seems to be grappling with something all by herself? Yeah, she's been acting differently around us ever since we rescued her. The same towards Alvin too. She's trying to sort out her feelings, girl. It's there's nothing that deep. Maybe she's become more self-conscious that she still has her thorns. In which case, hmm. it makes sense that she'd be feeling out of sorts. But I can't help but think there's something else, too. You're wondering if there's anything you can do to help her. Xi'an said something to me once. Something that helped me move forward. So I'd like to return the favor and do that for her, too. The only problem is, even if I did have the chance to talk to her, I don't know what I could say that would help. Xi'an Just be there for her. a lot right now. Maybe more than she can handle. Trying to unravel the threads of her own worries? That's challenge enough itself. Not to mention that trying to wade in blindly would probably end up making things even worse than they already are. But how do we help her then? For the time being, I think all we can do is be patient and keep an eye on her. That way, when she's finally ready to let us in, we'll be right there to lend her a shoulder. I hope you're right. I think she is. Kisara has been very on point with like her introspections and inspections of the party. So it wouldn't so it wouldn't surprise me if she was right just this one this once. Alright. I'm gonna use the healing light and then we're gonna watch the Water Lord. So if Volron is the lord of the water realm, then it's probably safe to say he has some water abilities tucked up his sleeve. She and Elfin couldn't be any more different. It's like they were practically born to be rivals. Looking back on it, in both of our previous encounters, he's only ever fought us with his sword. We haven't seen what else he's capable of. Hint, yet, hint. Even with only his blade, he still managed to overwhelm us. He's a force to be reckoned with. That much is certain. Yeah, that guy is seriously bad news. <laughs> It'll be okay, Hoodle. So it's Kisara's we'll best character, this. and then Hoodle is second best. By Shion. far. It's nothing. Let's keep moving. I don't like that she's hiding something from us as well, though. She, you, 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 we literally this brought you back from the pits of your own depression. Trust us, inside. girl, please. So probably the place. This is it, everyone. We can't let Volron treat people's lives like toys any longer. We need to put an end to his tyranny here and now. Everyone ready? Ready. We've come this far. Without question. I'm nervous, but I know what needs to be done. And then she gives me that powerful... Con I, I can't say that word. That powerful nod. If you if you know what word I'm gonna say, you know. If you know, you know. I don't want to see it in the comments. Not yet. But I think that because of the scale of this battle, there's pro um. But obviously, since I've recorded this before, I basically recorded up till the end of this battle before, and just so you guys know, um, there are going to be a lot of cutscenes that follow. And it's enough to warrant this um, this having its own, um, Valron's fight having its own episode. So a little bit of a shorter one today, but I don't think that's that big of a good deal. Thank you guys all so much for watching today. If you guys can, do me a favor and leave a like or subscribe. You know, I appreciate either one. It helps the algorithm either way. And I'll be sure to see you guys next time. I'll see you guys um, the next on the next day. Have a good rest of your day.